Well, I didn't even know this thing existed. I mean, I knew there was an old version of it, and it was some kind of truck that existed in the back of the woods somewhere. But I didn't know the new Colorado ZR2 was a thing until recently, until Payback announced that they were adding this vehicle to the game. Let's buy it. I mean, I say buy it. Let's get it for free and then use it. I mean, I, I did pay one whole pound, I think, equivalent to about one pound something for this vehicle. But it's, I'm glad it's here. It's one of those, again, that fills a void. It's one of those vehicles that's needed, except for the fact that you can't climb the bloody rock. The only other truck we have is the Ford Raptor. And the Ford Raptor, although I think is a million times cooler, we need more of these trucks. If you're going to do off-roading, You've got to have more SUVs, you've got to have more trucks, and that's filling a void that is missing in this game. There's a lot of tuna cars, so there's a lot of supercars. The trucks and stuff, there needed to be more of them, and then finally got one more of each. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I like I, I like something, but hate it at the same time. Visually, appealing-wise, the front, it's too high, but when it comes to actual ground clearance and stuff, that's great, because when you see these like Land Rovers and Range Rovers driving around the road, and they, for some, they, they look really tall, but then the, the bottom of the car has a big wheel sticking out the bottom of it. And that's going to touch the, the, the floor before anything else. Like, what's the actual point? Well, we're going to make this thing into a proper off-road monster, so let's get to it. Let's jump. Mac attack is not back. Do we have carbon? We do. We do indeed. We have a carbon replacement for the... I wouldn't even know what... Would you call that? Matin, matin, satin, mats, matin, matin. <laughs> uh, we also have adding on of lights at the front, which would be cool. I wish the lights were black at the front, though. That would be even cooler. But you could do it with that livery editor. Uh, didn't even think about that. I think I'm going to go with the lights on the front. I want to make this, as I said, a big un truck. Light bars locked. Oh, so there's actually kind of super build esque stuff in here. Uh, it's not available until we get to level 300 though, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to do that as well But let's get to the building of it We've got extra wide arches to make the whole arch wide or we can just make the, the wheel archy bit kind of bolt on Or make it clean the stock version that is I I actually like making trucks big So that's what we're gonna do make it a big off-roading scary monster Yes, please. I put on the step just to make it so it's easier to pick up all your ladies. Oh, I'm t that's what I'm talking Picking up yo ladies. Very specific there. I don't think I can be more specific. On the grill, that makes it a bit more aggressive, actually. Makes it that makes it even more aggressive. Thank you. I'm liking these mods more than I am the Raptor already. I mean, it was there were some pretty sweet mods on there. Oh! Okay, this is instantly being cooler than the Raptor. And, and this actually looks insane. And then we got a splitter on it, which is just adding a little tiny kind of minuscule anti-smash into the the rock plate, which which looks pretty sweet anyway. So I'll I'll take it. Wing mirrors. We'll go with little ones. All right. I know it looks a little bit silly, so I'm gonna change it because it looks really stupid. <laughs> I think we should keep the stock ones. I would make them carbon if that was a possibility. Rear lights, black them out. I'm starting to, start, starting to slightly lose my voice here, which is rather refreshing. I'm going to tone it down, you know. I'm going to try not to get excited by this. Is it possible to not get excited by- That is the best thing I have ever seen. You cannot take it from- What? That is amazing. And then the roof- We've got this little option here. I am deaf. My voice is going on like a raspy, you know, it's, it's starting to go. We've got a roof rack. We've got light bars and we've got extra light bars with... Wait, those are just intakes so they can breathe. I thought the light bars were locked. Why are you then giving me light bars on the roof? I'm rather confused. That option there makes it look super sweet. I kind of want the light bar too. Smoked lights, as you would expect. And then boom. I already cheated. I already had a look. Dif different lights. This is just completely converted this truck. It, I don't even know. How do I even describe it? We haven't even finished yet. We've got rear bumpers. This is why I wanted more trucks. And they've done it well. I cannot take that from them. Because they have done a fantastic job with these. Rear bumper. Put on the diffuser. I'm going to keep this, the diffuser as it is. The exhaust. 
is the, the truck style. I wish there were some of the trucks had the, the, the big funnels at the top. That would, that would be perfect. Uh, I'm going to throw on. I'm going to go absolutely like, wow, look at me. I have giant balls. There's actually pretty sweet designs for this truck. There's a camo design. There's That's actually like a Camaro design almost, I'd say. And it suits it super well. There's some pretty sweet, sweet ones here already. This is early in the stage as well because obviously they've only just released these vehicles. We could go full America over here. It's not even full America. That's like half America, and it still looks super cool. This is the other half America. American racing truck. Yes, that exactly. I'm going to go and try what this what's this one look like. I'm going to go with the, the, the white camo. That's possibly my favorite. But I now want to get this thing to level 300 because of the fact we get more stuff. Annoyingly, I'm really poor in this game. Uh, and I don't have much time to go and get some money, even though it takes like no time whatsoever. Uh, oh god, we don't even have enough for those parts there. That brings us to 204, so that's a starting point. <laughs> I now have 23 grand. Is that enough for the light bars? I don't know. I'm the final part. I hope it is. 304. All right, let's get out of here. We can now see what this bad boy is going to be like. I'm going to quickly drive. I think we're going to drive back there just so we get an idea of what this thing is going to be like. I'm expecting it to be pretty sweet. And it seems to be plowing through the hill so far. It looks cool. I wasn't expecting it to look this cool. I was expecting it to look like a subpar Raptor. I, I don't know if there's any truck that looks as good as the Raptor. The Raptor is like the, 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 the truck that people outside of the US. I know there's always debate inside the US with people what trucks are best and whatnot. But outside of the US, if you're looking at trucks, you like the Ford Raptor. I don't think you can buy it here in the UK. I don't think it would fit on UK roads or any European roads for that matter. But it doesn't mean that we don't look at them because we like cars that we can't have. Just like Americans with the Skyline. If the Skyline was not illegal in the United States, Americans wouldn't really care about it as much. Let's see if this has all been worth it. Get the light bar. We were restricted by the roof. So let's go back to the stock one for now and then go with the light bars. Okay. So we've got some proper light bars on here. Let's install that light bar. And then what roof options have we now been limited to? Because obviously we have to remove some of them. So we can still have those two options there. I like this option. It's a shame that you can't have... Like, it's a shame that there's an issue com combating those. Uh, the, I liked the intakes as well as the lights. That would have been super sweet. But I think overall, I'm digging this. So let's get out of here and drive. What I'm hoping for in the best case scenario is a vehicle that handles just as well as the Range Rover. I don't think I've, again, ever praised the Range Rover like that before, other than this past week. It's insane, I know. I, I just can't, I can't believe it. But that thing handled amazing. It was like completely different to any other off-road vehicle. We need to get to a proper off-road place and take that for a test. So the best, I think, would be this area is probably one of the best areas to test an off-road vehicle to see if it can take corners properly because if it can't you will definitely end up in the wall i remember this race on the campaign was awful like in a way that it was just because it was difficult it's, it reminded me of pro street almost there's so many races in that game were just absolutely impossible and that's why it was awful we we, we, we hate it now i I like a little bit of competition, but it's just because the handling was so off with some of the off-road vehicles. I think, to be fair, most of the off-road vehicles, especially when you got higher up the charts of like having to upgrade your vehicle, it just got absolutely insane. So, I feel so far, this thing feels sluggish compared to the Range Rover. I think the Range Rover was a little bit faster, even though I've upgraded this thing, obviously. The Range Rover stock was already faster, I believe. If not, it felt it. It felt, it feels faster, and it feels like it's a. I'm driving a truck. All right, that's what we gotta keep in mind here. This is not its comfort zone. It's designed to be able to take these things well, but it's not designed to take them fast. And I've got to say, I think if I was doing racing, I would choose the Range Rover. This is a little bit clumsy. It's not awful. It's just, yeah, it's lazy. Okay, I would definitely be using this for exploration and stuff. Um, not that there's any more, anything else to explore. It does feel like you're a little bit late to the party with the old fact of adding off-road vehicles to a game that has off-road. I, I, I'm the type of person to switch to off-road vehicles and start exploring after I've done all the races and stuff. 
But unfortunately, there's a lot of areas like this. The whole area here is undrivable because of the fact that I can't drive up the mountains. On the crew, the physics are bumpy and all weird all over the place, yes. But I like, I, I don't care about that. I would much prefer that than not being able to drive there at all. That's just my personal opinion. The crew's physics when it comes to climbing and stuff can be a little bit hit and miss. But it's not like Need for Speed is the most polished game in the world. Did you try 2015's handling? But let me know what you think of this truck. I'm glad it's here. It's a little bit late. <laughs> but overall, I'm happy that it's here. It's a nice way to sum it up. If you enjoyed this video, smash like, friends, subscribe if you are new, and remember, link below for the shirts if you want to check them out. But until next time, guys, peace.